It's week four of the NFL, and this one features the Saints' rookie quarterback. Everyone's still in awe of his last game, passing Norm Van Brocklin's 1951 mark of 554 passing yards. It's the Saints and the Falcons, and it's all up next on EA Sports. So the Saints ready to go to work on offense for the first time. They're led out by the rookie quarterback, the young man from the University of Michigan. And as we see the quarterback take the field, Mike, I mean, think back to the game that he's coming off of. Not only did he lead his team to a win, but he broke Norm Van Brocklin's single-game passing record in the process. Mike, that's a record that stood from 1951 all the way up until last week. I'm not sure we're going to see him replicate that type of success in this one. But if he's somehow able to do so, it will easily be the best two-game stretch by an NFL quarterback in league history. A nice throw by the rookie out of Michigan. It's going to be good enough for a first down. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. He keeps it himself. Whoa! And he's going to go into the end zone on an electrifying run. Touchdown, New Orleans. That one is going to hurt the defense. He's looking to throw, can't find anyone, takes off, and Greggy takes it the distance for an exciting touchdown run. And these are the plays, Mike, that just drive defensive coordinators crazy. You have all of his targets covered up, nowhere to go with the ball, and next thing you know, he gets out of the pocket, takes it all the way with his legs. He's just as dangerous with those feet as he is with his arm. The Saints offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Right away, they'll set up to throw. That deep for Olave. And that one is caught. And he will take this one in 70 yards touchdown New Orleans well that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it the touchdown pass downfield Greg you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drive you're right Mike we don't see it a lot but I wish we did it's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball, and in this case, the defense is thinking run, got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. The Saints offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. This one everything we could have hoped for to this point all even at 14 they'll start this drive with first down they'll come out throwing here to start the drive he's gonna tuck it and go Woo! and he's gonna be brought down up past the 45 you can see here Mike the impact that's sending your receivers deep does to the defense you add so many layers and the defense has to get so much depth in their pass coverage it leaves a lot of room underneath and that's exactly what the quarterback takes advantage tucks the ball down turns into a runner picks up the first down now they'll set up to throw he lets one go looking for Shaheed whoa and the Falcons are gonna have it at their own 32 yard line when you find yourself in this situation, Mike, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points.
the Saints offense, and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down. Back to throw here to begin the drive. Again, working deep downfield. And he's out of bounds on what will wind up being the final act of this opening quarter. So after one, knotted at 14 on the scoreboard. Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw. Off he goes. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. Now he'll run it. Uh-oh. And he's going to be brought down, but not until he gets inside the 35. This defense is going to have to come up with some answers at halftime because they cannot allow this quarterback to just continue to have his way with them on the ground using his legs. And that's exactly what's happened so far here in the first half. And... They're going to have to get that fixed and fixed quickly. So they come to the line for first down and 10. He'll drop to throw. He'll take off again. And he's got another one. Touchdown, New Orleans. So with that touchdown, his third on the ground in this half he's well on his way to potentially tying the mark for rushing touchdowns by a quarterback in one game the current record is four he has three the offense Headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And this defense has to be searching for answers right now. It's been his ability to make plays on the ground here in the first half that has really given them fits. He'll look to throw. That deep for Olave. And that is brought in. And he's going to take this one all the way. 71 yards. Touchdown, New Orleans. They get the job done in the air. Greg, that is a play we see often. It's also a play we see work very often. Mike, that four vertical route, it puts a ton of pressure on the secondary. But in order to do that, you have to give your quarterback time for those receivers to get downfield. Give credit to the offensive line. That's exactly what they did. They're able to take advantage for the strike. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. 
and he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. On first and ten, they'll set up to throw. The man down the field, it's Olave. And what an effort after the catch. He goes all the way. 85 yards. Touchdown, New Orleans. Three touchdowns in this one. He now has seven for the year. For quarterbacks, there are so many stats we use to measure a good season. This is one of them. 30 touchdowns. That was number 30 on the year. Throwing now on first and ten. He'll take a shot. Looking for Wilson. How often do we see teams kind of nurse these big leads, Mike, especially as the game unfolds. They turn to the ground game. They try to slow everything down. Well, not this offense. They refuse to take their foot off the gas. They're still mining for explosive plays. And frankly, with the way today's gone, I don't blame them. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. On third down, they'll set up to throw. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. And the offense will take one here. Timeout with six left on the second quarter clock. More of the same right here, and you can see the numbers. They're really starting to pile up for the quarterback, especially on the ground here in the first half, Mike. And when he takes off running, you can feel everyone kind of hold their breath, both in terms of him being electrifying, but also the fact that they want to make sure he's not taking any unnecessary shots. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's deep for Olave. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. And they are not going to catch up to him. He will score. 70 yards. Touchdown, New Orleans. Make it four touchdowns for him on the afternoon. to the air now on first and ten. The reception for Rashid Shaheed. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Well, he had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think Mike coming out here for the start of the third that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. He'll tuck it and take off. He's got it! And he's going to take this into the end zone. Sensational play 
for the moment. There's a marker down. I don't think he's going to like the result of this flag. Oh, just a terrible feeling. The penalty wipes out that long touchdown. In motion is Hill. Now faking the give. Taking off. Ho oh, ho! A strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. And that last run sets a new NFL record. Most rush yards in a single game by a quarterback. It was set by Justin Fields when he was with the Bears. He had 178 on the ground in 2022. This game tops that. At this point, it just gets frustrating for the defense, right? I mean, you've been watching this guy make big play after big play all game long, not only on the quarterback-designed runs, but it's the scrambles that can really break the back of the defense, and we saw it again here. And that is incomplete. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do, and man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. And he's going to be taken down. The numbers there tell the story that last completion moves him over 400 yards passing for the game. They've got it at the eight, first down and goal. Off play action, he'll set up to throw. He and he's into the end zone yet again. Touchdown, six. So they have leaned on him in the running game, and he has responded. Four rushing touchdowns in this one. That ties the record set by Billy Kilmer back in 1961, equaled 12 years later by Bobby Douglas. He gets that complete to Cedric Wilson. And he's going to be out of bounds down near the 25. Great run after the catch in the open field. A pickup of 24. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And... These drag routes can be very, very effective. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the pass. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's in. Jawan Johnson. Touchdown, New Orleans. His 12th touchdown of the year. They extend the lead, and it looks like they're going to extend the terrific start to this season. Greg, they are just a few minutes away from a 4-0 beginning. Even since adding that 17th game to the schedule, so many coaches across the league, Mike, they still refer to the season as quarters. So they talk about, all right, let's focus going into the year on winning corner number one. And I'll tell you what, at 4-0, it doesn't get much better than that.
Throwing now from the gun. Escaping the danger, throwing and completing. Six catches for him in the ball game now. And this one's good for a first down. And that throw just seems like the cherry on top of what has been an incredible day for this quarterback. And I wouldn't be surprised here late if we get to see the backup after this drive. And there's one guy in the stadium that has earned the right to stand on the sideline and relax. That is caught. What a throw. Chris Olave. Touchdown, Saints. He is having a performance to remember. That is five touchdowns for him in this one game. And that's his fifth touchdown catch of the game that ties the NFL single game mark. Jerry Rice did it in 1990. Kellen Winslow Sr. 1981. Bob Shaw all the way back in 1950. They have company with the five touchdown reception game in this one. He'll get rid of it and complete it. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball. And you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. Two yards from six points. It is first down and goal. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. He's got it at the three. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. We'll go again from the three. It is second and goal. Cannot be stopped. He is into the end zone again. Touchdown, New Orleans. So that nose for the end zone is going to land him in the NFL record books. That last touchdown, he has now just set the modern record for most rushing touchdowns by a quarterback in a single game. So that is going to set the new standard for quarterbacks, a record fifth rushing touchdown of this game. his target downfield great teamwork on the completion and he's down inside the 40 yard line well i think one thing's for sure mike i don't think we're seeing an offense that is comfortable with this late lead and they for sure are not letting their foot off the gas they're continuing to put pressure on the defense and say hey i don't care how much we're up by we're going to continue to execute our passing game and if there's opportunities downfield we're going to continue to take them That's deep for Olave. And this is going to be a touchdown. They are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play. So yet another celebration, and this one has a little bit of history with it. He has set the NFL record 
the most receiving touchdowns in a single game. for the visiting Saints. This one came down to the final play. But their defense was able to hold on. They're going to walk out of here with a slim one-score victory.